Hey guys, it's another late day. Uh, I was supposed to paint, never did. Mainly because my grandpa never mixed the paint for me. And yeah, I don't know, like, see, yeah sure, I'll be 21 this month, but there's certain things that I'm not allowed to do because they think, like, I think they think that I'm still a child, I guess, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So I didn't paint, but I had to sweep the back of my grandpa's truck off, because we were supposed to go to Lowe's Hardware and buy, uh, what was it, some 2x8s. So we start working on a floor. For the downstairs. This truck wouldn't start. That thing over there, it wouldn't start. And, you know, everything that could happen bad has happened. And it's just my grandparents are arguing with one another. There's. And the one thing that I hate the most is uh, the divorce talk. Because it's just a threat around here. You know, uh, ever since I was a little kid, they've threatened, oh, you know, if this and this doesn't stop, I'm going to leave you, or if you don't do this or that, I'm going to leave you. And they've been together almost 43 years. And no divorce yet, and just arguing, and it's, it's very nerve-wracking. And I would film it, but out of respect of not wanting to go up there at the moment, I'm not. See? There are certain things that I deem that I should stay away from because it's respectful. And I'm a respectable kind of guy, sometimes. But, yeah. Hey. We're here at Lowe's Hardware getting uh, 24 2x8s flooring for the downstairs and hopefully we can get it finished. Oh, sorry. Hopefully we can get it finished. And yeah, so far that's all we're doing. He's on the phone right now, my grandpa is, so I'll see what I can get done and yeah, I'll let you know what's what. When it comes to traffic, I'm pretty much the one doing everything because we're doing park in. And right now, I gotta have a buggy to get to it, or a car, whatever you want to call it. Real quick. Let's see? I'll show you. That one right there that's sticking out, that's the one that I gotta get. So I'm gonna get it. Made it back home. Uh, we got everything. We got a door. We got 24 pieces of 2x8s. We got some caulk, caulking. You know, like the the stuff you put around like cracks and all that. Caulk. Never mind. I'm not even get started on that. But uh, we also got some flat black paint, and we got uh, gloss cherry red paint, and. We got some nails. So, I mean, we're getting it done eventually. But, yeah. We're back home and still haven't got to paint yet. The thing that I hate the most is the fact that when he tells me to do something and then, like, I get ready to do it, he changes his mind. That's how my whole family is. You know, they change their mind at the last minute. Oh, you can just do it tomorrow. Tomorrow comes around. Oh, no. We'll just wait. The next day, oh, no, I'm not ready for it yet, or, oh, we, you gotta do something else. And it just gets on my nerves. But I don't really have any other choice, now do I? But on a much happier note, minus all the arguing and the bullshit that's going on right now, um, I talked to my lawyer today, finally, and, um, he says that I have to call him by next Thursday, and hopefully... I'll be able to find out when the whole mediation thing happens. And for the ones who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, back in 2009, I was living with my friend 
his wife and her mom and dad. But they were like family, you know, by marriage, somewhere in there. And uh, I was with them for a week. And at the time, you know, I had this relationship. And, you know, I'll get to the whole relationship thing here in a little bit. That That's for another time. But, uh, you know, I wanted to stay behind. That way I could talk to said person. And they said, no, I couldn't. I had to go with them. And I had this weird gut feeling that something was gonna ha something bad was gonna happen. And when I, growing up, I used to have these feelings all the time, and I would ignore them. And then uh, I start to listen to them, and I know when something's wrong, something's wrong. And they said I couldn't stay behind, so I had to go with them. And 15 minutes later, the only thing I remember is we stopped off at, at an ATM because we had to take my friend's wife, which is my cousin. Uh, to the doctor so we stopped off at the ATM to get some money and after that I remember throwing my cigarette out the window and I was I swear I died for just for a little bit because I swear I was looking down on myself and um dog doggy sorry uh sidetrack but um yeah I'm trying to what was I saying oh yeah uh I remember throwing my cigarette out the window and I, I thought I was dead for a little bit. I swear I was, but um, I was in and out of it at the in the ambulance to the hospital. I, the thing happened at like eleven thirty, eleven forty-five, and then things like I was in the hospital from that time to six thirty or six forty-five in the evening, and found out my left arm was shattered. It's still, you know, I still can't use it properly. Uh, and that I had a cut above my right ear. And they didn't even, you know, like clean the cut. They just stitched it up. To this very day, I've got headaches. I can't get rid of them no matter what. I have trouble sleeping because of it and everything. You know, there's a whole list that I could tell you. And, but anyway, like, I ended up back here at my family's house, not by my choice, and my mom decided, oh, you know, my son's hurt, you know, let's get some money out of it, so she sued them, and here it is now, it's 2011, in March, and we're just now finally getting a mediator, so hopefully we can get this done and over with this month, and I can pay off my bills and everything, and hopefully fix my life the way that I want it to be fixed. But, you know, here's the hoping, right? Uh, my neighbor, like, he's supposedly not supposed to work and things like that, but, you know, he gets all this money from, uh, insurance or whatever, but he still does all the work. Uh, see him moving around up there? But, uh, yeah, uh, he's been here for about 14, maybe 15, 16 years, and he's done nothing but cause us trouble, you know. I still think he burnt the house down, I still think he killed the dog, but I have my reasons for that. Uh, he's called animal control, the fire department, the police department. He's said that we were burning trash and plastic and all that other stuff in the wood stove down there, and... He was saying that all that is his property, and if you look, like, that little post that's sticking out right there, that's our land, and my family used to own this entire area, all 14 and a half or so acres, and then this is before I was ever around, I think, and, uh, hurt my grandparents' kids, you know, my mom, my uncles, and my aunt, you know, they wouldn't help mow the yard, they wouldn't help take care of it and look after it, so they sold it. The guy they sold it to sold it to our current neighbor, and it's been nothing but hell, to be frank, I guess. I mean, it's more trouble than what it's worth, I guess, but I don't really know.
first off, if you s the little pin here, uh, I explained that in my video diary why it's there and all that. Lost the screw, stuck something in it, because I can't really see the computer without my glasses unless I like stick my face really close to it and squint. But uh, sorry, that was very bad and very uncalled for and very epically much show failure. But anyways, uh, I know the vlog's like a little over 10 minutes and something right now, but it's not as good as I would hoped it would have been today. And so what I did is just throw clips together and called it quits. I've, I'm wore out, you know, I work today and after all the stuff that I talked about in the video, uh, we had to go to the store, you know, and I got some bread and some milk. Uh, we stopped off at the dairy house and, you know, it's it's got ice cream, it's got hot dogs, burgers, fries, salads, you know, a lot of different types of foods. And I had to get my grandma a footlong hot dog with an order of fries and tomatoes and uh, went to Hardee's, got a grilled chicken sandwich for me, um, a fish supreme sandwich for my grandpa, and seven cheeseburgers. You know, for the kids, you know, my cousins and all. And when when that, you know, by the time we got to the store, this is before, you know, going to the dairy house, uh, the truck sort of messed up. My grandpa's truck messed up once again, and he ended up having to pull some wires in the front, you know, like under the dash, and sparks went everywhere, smoke, really bad smell. Um, the starter got hung up, and I went in the store with my sister. I would have filmed there, but I left the camera at home like a dumbass. And... You know, we got the bread and the milk and all that. They got the truck fixed, as they called it. You know, just able enough to drive it home. So, yeah, you know, it's, like I said, you know, one bad thing after the other. It can and will happen. And today was just one of those days. And it's, it sucks. It, it seriously really does. I just hope everything gets figured out with the truck. And I'm wore out. Like I said, I think I said that once. Yeah, I believe I did. But tomorrow is another day, so whatever is in the videos, the way it is, it, it's going to suck really bad. But at this point, I just don't care at the moment. I told you they're going to be slow for the first eight days. If I didn't, then oh well. But, yeah. Sorry. <laughs>